hey guys what's popping so today i'm gonna be giving you guys one of um my most powerful strategy on boomer crash this strategy is very very powerful and i hope you guys enjoy using it and uh, use it to make a lot of money so what um are we looking for in the market this strategy is called the divergence strategy is divergence a convergence uh, strategy also you know divergence and convergence so we'll be looking for a divergence or convergence in our tdi and the markets what do i mean by divergence and convergence i'm sorry guys i have to explain this because without explaining it you guys are not going to understand so what i'm going to be looking for okay, let me bring out my brush too okay um so this is crash for instance you know crash the market spike then starts buying then spike again starts buying then spike again starts buying you understand that right yeah you understand that if it's boom boom is going to be reverse so only 8.2 people watching my channel are subscribed please subscribe if you haven't subscribed so i can post more beautiful videos like this what do we do we look for let's we look for a trend on the one minute this might sound a little bit confusing but we look for a trend on the one minute you don't like really need to look for a trend per se but you just need to know where the market is going so what do you do let's say for instance the market spike and it buys and spike it buys and spike again and it buys and on our tdi instead of it giving us this spike go up spike go up spike go up it gives us something like this a spike it goes up spike goes up and this last spike it doesn't give us this down it doesn't um spike down to break this from our one you know on the tdi it doesn't you know in the market it breaks this from our um, blue this from our spike low but it doesn't break it in the tdi instead it just gives us something like this and goes up then we can call this then we can call this a divergence wait guys it just gives us something like this <laughs> on the indicator the indicator is like this and the market is like this you know now the indicator and the market they are showing two different things so we can now call this a divergence why do we call this a divergence because it gives us something like this you know when we connect this using a trend line connect this also using a trend line you know connect this last two is it a trend line then you know one year one year one year then we call that it divergence now let's go to the practical section i know you guys might not understand the explanation let's just go to the practical section straight so guys don't leave this video because i have to explain a lot of things there are some other conditions you have to meet okay now let's look for divergence in the market so currently now currently currently now in the market as you can see um because currently in the market a divergence is kind of being formed here look at he created the what are they calling this yeah it's created a you know a spike then went up then this one created a lower spike this spike went lower than this boy here this spike did not go lower than this spike look at it's on equal level so we can call this a divergence you know let's look for more more divergences in the market so you guys can fully understand what i'm talking about look at here this one spiked it went up then the next spike broke this from a you know this from a low it broke it so in our indicator watch what's happening in our indicator it spiked down in our indicator too it went up with our indicator it spiked down but on the indicator it did not break the low look at it did not break here it just went up so i hope you guys are catching on you guys are catching on with this let's check for more let's check for more let us check for more i think here too yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah to here too it spiked here it went up it spiked again it broke here it broke it here it broke there here it spike it spike but the next one did not break in last spike yeah so let's check for more let's check if we're going to see more let's see if we're going to see more examples yeah look at here look at here it spiked here first 
then it went up then it spike again broke this formal low then it went up again but in our indicator our indicator shows a totally different thing instead of spiking and creating a lower indicator spikes it went up then it creates a high it did not create a low it did not break this formal one it just went down did not break it then it went up so that's the first condition the first condition is looking for a divergence or a convergence so that is the first first condition then the next condition is when looking after you see that a divergence has been formed you wait for your tdi to cross the red and cross the the yellow this green this green line in your tdi you wait for it to cross the red and you wait for it to cross the yellow once it crosses both you enter and you take your five candles you can take up to 10 candles shall we? yeah because this strategy is very powerful but my advice for you is take five candles because of risk in boom and crash spike and just boom take all your accounts so i advise you take five candles but you can also use it to catch 10 candles but my advice five candles so that's just it once you see a divergence you see a convergence and you wait for your um tdi to cross you enter that's all the conditions you need you don't need to go to the one hour you don't need to go to the five minutes anyway you just need to, your just need your one minute as you can see i want to show you guys something today just now something happened this is why we wait for our cross the uh, the tdi to cross look at this thing gave us a divergence this morning look at it spiked down you know it spiked down it went up it did not break oh, this one did not break it did not break you see this you see this one here he spiked the first one spiked down he went oh then he spiked again but this spike did not break the low of this one did not break the low of this previous spike but in our tdi it spiked down it went up then it spiked down and broke the low of the former spike on the tdi indicator you know as it broke it we are supposed to wait for the green to cross the red and the yellow you see what you see guys we are supposed to wait for the gray to cross the red and the yellow if we had entered eh, eh this spike would have met met us this spike would have met us and would have blown our account this spike is a very huge spike chop all your profits so guys yeah that's just it for this video if this is your first time in my channel like and subscribe and uh follow this page for more and uh, i'll be sharing more content like this uh, see you later guys